G'day guys. Um, as some of you might have seen in the, in the first video I did where we're interviewing the uh, current Copper players at Preston, um, introducing some of the present players to the past. And we've got a uh, we've got a character with us today who's um, been a part of Preston for a very long time. He's created some controversy in the years, but uh, we love him for it. So he's an absolute ripping fella. Um, his name's Adam Jacklin. Um, so AJ, why don't you uh, introduce yourself to the people and uh, give us a bit of a spiel about yourself, man. <coughs> Thanks for having us. Um, just how long do you reckon I've been at the club? Nine years now? Yeah, well, you've been there before me. I'm coming up to be 10. It's probably a bit too long. Probably overstayed me welcome a bit. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> current second 11 player. I'd like to think of myself as a middle order batsman, but Dennis doesn't, so that's all right. Um, yes. Yeah, I just, I just bowl off his and play second, really. 23 yeah. years of age. Yeah. Yeah, okay. so you've um you've been around the club for a long time. You've um you you, you played a lot of fours and threes cricket, and, and the last couple of seasons you started to break into the twos. And um you know we've always said that you've got more talent in your in your left pinky than most other blokes do at the club. So um you know uh, this season I can see big things for you. you. You're hoping to push into the ones. Yeah, hoping this year. Definitely hoping this year. Um, it'd be nice. Obviously, there's a lot of controversy around there. Not controversy, but there's a lot of uh, different circumstances around this season. So it's going to be an interesting one. Short and yeah. season. But um, fitness is good for once. So um, who knows? I mean, hopefully, but uh, it's just a matter of hazy picks me or not. Yeah, that's it, mate. I think you're doing all the right things. You, as you said, your fitness before. Um, for those of who you know didn't see AJ last year, he uh, resembled a bit of a balloon. So he's lost a heap. <laughs> he's lost a heap away at the moment. What have you been up to pre-season? Because you've, you've you've shredded down big time. Yeah, not much. Well, I mean, I've been up to a bit, but um, I've what dropped twenty six in total, I think, so far. Fantastic. I was just running, just a lot of high intensity running. Um, I started off doing long distance running, but I couldn't do it because my shins. So, um, ended up getting bones. I had bone spurs in my shins, which caused some pretty bad shin splints. So I just started doing sprint work and weights every day. Really, Stop yeah, trick. yeah, for sure, man. I think um, you know you, you're putting in the work now, so everyone already knows. You know, with the preseason that we, the, the I guess the digital preseason we've been doing, that they can see that you're serious about the upcoming season. So, kudos to you um, for doing it. <coughs> Did you play somewhere before Preston, or have you always been a Preston boy? Senior cricket. Uh, yeah, senior, juniors, wherever. Juniors, I played North Altham. So I played my whole, whole life at North Altham Juniors. And I came yeah. to Preston in, I was like under 16s or, or under 17s or something. Um, came to Preston and just sort of, you know, plotted around the club for a bit, being that yeah. uh, the truck that I was. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I wasn't taking cricket too seriously for a long, long time. Um, yeah. yeah. Preston's my first senior club, first known senior club. Yeah. I guess, um, you know, like you've had a bit of a journey over the over the last decade. Um, you know, a lot of the boys are really behind you in terms of where they see you going with your cricket. Um, you, 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 I think you left the club for a season or two. You had a bit of a break, didn't you? Um, yeah, a season off. Um, it, it was, I don't know, it was just lost sort of sitting in the threes and fours. It wasn't much fun anymore. So, yeah. sort of just off and came back towards the end of the season. I trained a couple of times because one of the captains asked me to come play finals. But, uh, yeah. So I didn't end up playing a game that year, but uh, I think we can still count that towards life membership anyway. <laughs> That's it, mate. Yeah, and since you come back, you've just been absolutely killing it, mate. So, you know, kudos to you. So just keep on keep on doing that same thing, eh? Hopefully Dennis gets you up into the uh, top water, eh? That's a question for another day, I reckon. That's it, man. That's it. Um, <clears throat> well, I guess, um, you know, you've been at the, the club quite a long time. Um, well, what, what do you think is the best thing about um, playing at Preston? Uh, the culture for sure, and like we've seen over the ten years, has been a or whatever it is, day ten, whatever. There's been a fair bit of uh, a cultural change over those years. When I first arrived at the club, it was you got your first eleven, and then you got the, the the people that were pushing into the first, and the rest of the club. Uh, it's it's transitioned now into to more of a club feel at Preston, which is really good. Um, the blokes and the culture, it's just the second to none, really. Yeah, fantastic. No, I definitely think um, a lot of the boys have seen that shift over the last few years. So, no, good one. Which, um, I get, who of your teammates over the last few years you enjoy playing with the most, mate? I think you'd have to be one of them. We always have a good laugh. I'd be, offended. I'd be offended if you didn't say me, AJ. <laughs> We've had a few, uh, few good games in that quarter. No, probably been put in the book one too many times, but uh, <laughs> it's fun nonetheless. Uh, Matty Staples is another, another good character. To have in the team, Dennis Walshy, 
you know, Dallas at the end of last season when he played in twos. He's a good laugh. But the, most of the boys are really good to play with. There's no divide in anymore, I should say, between the teams. So every every bloke's pretty good to play with. Yeah, fantastic, mate. That's really good to hear. Um, uh, what have you been, you know, you can look back to, you know, when you started at Preston or you can look back to recent years. What's your, I guess, what are some personal highlights for you? Um, I reckon I've probably only got two that come off the top of the mind, which was the time that I made in the falls a couple of years ago, probably four or five years ago. Um, and then breaking into the second 11 last year off yeah, after, after the first game of the season. It's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice way to start off a year. So um, that was a pretty good one. That's it. Yeah, we had some good games last year in the twos, didn't we? Oh, uh, yeah. Played my role, so didn't make too many high scores, but bowled pretty well, so. Yeah, that's it. I guess, and again, you can, you know, think back to the 10 odd years that you've been um, at the club. Who, who's um, inspired you with you, you know, internally in the club to, you know, better yourself, whether it be in cricket or, or, or in life? I think one would have to be Lech. Um, his, his persistence with me over the, the time of his coaching was, uh, I'm not sure how he did it. Uh, I would have booted my ass out of the club pretty quickly. If that was him. Uh, he has to be one. Um, in the last couple of years, it's been, or dinners as well. Dinners has been sort of the person I've looked up to since I started. Started taking me to games when mum couldn't when I was when I was a junior and stuff like that. Um, in the last couple of years, last year, 12 months, 24 months, while she's been a pretty big one. Um, just always persistent, you know, nudging it, nudging me in the not, not, ugh, right direction. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Really good answer. I think all those guys that you mentioned, you know, they they're um, they're big on you know wanting the club to be better and and you know pushing them in the in the you know in a good direction. Um, and they all see, you know, we've all seen, we've said it for years, mate. You've got you got that much talent, um, and you know it's good to hear that um, you know things are starting to look look up for you at the moment. So that's great, mate. You know, I'm chucking there too. Uh, Nathan very good over his time in the threes when he was skipper in the threes with me. So Nathan Barry. Yeah. yeah nah, yes, don't yes. worry about don't worry about him, mate. No, no, don't worry about Nathan. <laughs> no, he's a ripper. He's an absolute ripper. Um all right, well look, thanks for that, mate. Good to um good to speak to you. The you know, hopefully a few of the guys that um you know haven't been around at the club for for a while, um, you know, see the, the the type of people that we are and um, you know, the the direction that the heads um the, the direction that the club's heading in rather sorry. So, um, you know, good to speak to you, mate. See you, mate.